what is going on my fine and my divine feminine it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what is going on for the month of may 2019 shout out to all my new subscribers what's going on baby what's going on and i got a treat for y'all today guess what y'all are getting a bonus Thanks to all of the love and support that you guys have been sending. I got me a new deck. And every time I come every month and they say I got a new deck, I am because I'm like poor in decks. I'm sorry. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys for all of the love and support. Seriously. Um, if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking the about tab. What you need to do is book the link. Okay. So first thing you need to do is click that booking link. And um, it is the Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book. Book me the booking link is scorpion red tarot as simply book me and that is located again on that about tab so what you need to do is go ahead and select your reading then once you go ahead and book your reading you need to double back so that we can connect okay for the video chat all right so I typically only do video chats but if you want um to not get on camera to do you know a face-to-face -face live reading like that and you just want to send me your question and have me upload the video to YouTube, you can um, select that option by booking your reading and then there's an add-on option that says video recap. So purchase your reading and then also purchase the video recap with that and then what you would need to do is after you book, double back, like I said, to link up with me. My Instagram um, link is right under the booking link. It'll say Instagram. Click that, send me a personal private message and be like, hey, Reds, um, <clears throat> I booked on this day, but I don't want to get on camera. Here's my question. And if you guys want to do it like that, send me the question without the information pertaining your situation around it, okay? I don't want to know the information going on you know what your situation just send me what you want to know without telling me the situation and I got you and then also if you want just like I said a recap video of the reading if you would like me to record the whole experience and upload it to um, YouTube so that you can have a, a copy of the experience you can do so by booking that recap video um, as well as you know what you're reading so Thank you so much again for everyone who has been liking, sharing, and subscribing and been sending love donations. There's two options now for love donations if you would like to send a love donation. If these videos resonated, you just want to send some love to the page. There's an Amazon wish list there and then there's also PayPal, which you guys have normally been doing, which is just fine as well. But if you want to, um, if it's just easier to just, you know, select something on um the wish list that's cool as well so it's a whole bunch of more decks and things that I have my eye on so all the love is much appreciated so let's get into the reading and as you can see this is the tea leaf deck um, it's these little round circular decks I seen it on um, what's my baby I love her uh, what is her name um, her immortal majesty I believe that's her page name y'all check her out on, on here she is one of my readers that I watch personally and um, I really like her readings they're really cool I think she's from like New Orleans or something I love her accent <laughs> love her accent so you guys let's get into the prayer excuse me always somebody calling let's say spam biggest day on the, on the ID anyway all right, let's get into the reading. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much for all of the just happiness, the growth, the clarity, the abundance, the joy, and the transitions that we've been making, Father God. Um, my heart is full. Our heart is pure. I just feel like we are freeing ourselves, Father God, every day. We are just shaking off things, and we are just feeling light. We, Like I said, we feel light, free, and pure. I feel a lot of people been doing spiritual cleansings, um, especially with the moon cycles and things like that. I feel like people are really um, paying attention to their energy when they're around people. If they feel up here, and then when they get around these people, they, their energy levels start sinking. Like, the <laughs> divine feminine is quickly... Uh, removing their stuff like oh, I gotta use the bathroom <laughs> you know and just uh, just get away from that and I, I can even see people like even at work like a situation where they're just around just energy vampires at work where they're just like um 
I gotta take a time out. I gotta use a bathroom. And just use any excuse to get away from it and just go in the bathroom and just like wipe your face off with water and just kind of look at yourself in the mirror. Just be like, okay, girl. Get it together because we ain't about to do this with them. We, we washing it off or we blocking them out and y'all just go back into it. I really feel... Like, your energy and your time is very precious, and it's very important to the Divine Feminine right now. And I really do feel just serious, like, self-love care is going on right now. I feel like you guys are going to go get your nails done. Y'all are going to get your eyebrows done. Y'all are getting your waxing done. Y'all getting your feet done. Y'all going sundress shopping. I mean, y'all are really feeling the spring element. Y'all are just, like, on some flower child shit. Y'all be in the park. Okay, like, y'all be in the park with a joint and a banjo or some shit like y'all. Y'all like, want some real peace and tranquility and protecting my energy and shit. Like, for real. God, forgive me for cussing. My father, please give the Divine Feminine additional guidance to just keep their, their walk. Just to keep their walk going, you know, just like. We just so good right now, Father God. Give us guidance. Please give us guidance. Oh, goodness. Father God, give us guidance. For the divine for them for faith. Thank you. Because I'm just we just gonna keep getting distracted. Thank you so much. Please give me guidance for the divine feminine. Thank you so much. Please give me guidance for the divine feminine. Thank you. Please give me a month of focus. Please give me, ooh, that's a lot. That's that's too much. So this is like based off the months. Give me a month of focus for the Divine Feminine. What month are we focusing on right here? Thank you so much. What month? October. October. All right. So what is going on? What astral house should we be focusing on in the month of October? What's coming to us in the month of October? Thank you so much. What's coming to Divine Feminine? What's coming to the Divine Feminine? What's coming to the Divine Feminine Collective in October? Come on. What's coming? You don't want to come out? Marriage. <laughs> marriage. You don't want to try to come out, but stubborn enough, but marriage. Okay, so stubborn enough <laughs> to find feminine. Some marriage opportunity might be coming to you not might be it's going to be coming to you in october stubbornly enough okay because it dang sure didn't want to come out all right so let's see let's figure out what the primary focus is for the divine feminine for the first of october for the first week of october fox shrewd and resourcefulness especially in business all right so being sly as a fox out here and being very, very cunning and self-maneuvering every obstacle in the best way that you can. Being sly and slick as a fox in regards to business, okay? Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. So in the month of October, you will surely be being taken care of in difficult times. And not only that, like I said, you are navigating things slick as a fox. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. You are finally seeing the rainbow come out in October, all right? In the first week of October. And then camel, preserve, and you will overcome problems, all right? So I think you might need to just, you know, take things slow and, like, save up. Save. Second week of October. Give me guidance. Okay, so it says lion. Time to act. Oh, okay, it's time to act. Clouds. No problems was only temporary. Temporary problems. All right, 
It's his woman. Dealings or relationship with the woman. Oh, okay, you guys. All right. Ooh, and these just came out. Whoa, what was that? And it says, shark. Take care. There will be a loss of material wealth. And Cain, pay attention to your health. Okay. Well, this fell out. No, I ain't taking that. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even supposed to be. That kind of fell out of my head because I would do anything anyway. So look, just give me something more. Give me guidance about this this like um this woman. Acts forces working against you. So there may be a woman working against you, and then it might be a temporary problem with a woman. Dealings or relationships with a woman. All right. So the second week of October. You might have to act like your little, you might have to bring out that ferociousness, ladies. Time to act. Because someone is, you know, bringing some problems that are temporarily looming. It's temporarily, because like I said, you a lion, you a beast. This woman don't know what she's getting herself into. Okay? She trying to work against whatever's coming to you. And uh, it might be time for you to bring the axe out on a bitch. You understand me? <laughs> you want to dig me? Let's see what's going on. The third week. The second half, the third week of October. Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require. Turkey. Someone behaving stupidly. Sunrise. Someone acting like a jive turkey. Okay, so grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful, careful handling. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So, got to be a wise little grasshopper out here because we already see that there's a woman out here that got some. She got an issue. She out here, I got like a jive turkey. Uh-huh, because someone out here behaving stupidly. You hear me? All right. And then what is this? Frying pan. Trouble. Accusations. Someone trying to throw some shit in the fire pan. Okay? They trying to throw some shit in the flames. You know? And shit to hit the flying pan. Bull. Don't back down from opposition. Show your strength and fortitude. <laughs> Ladies. Who this bitch thinks she is though? Someone jelly, extra KY jelly over here that you got this marriage right here coming around in October, ladies. But you're going to have to show the bull, okay? Huh. The lion and the bull. What you talking about? New creative ideas, ventures, a fresh start. You're going to search yourself and it's going to be a sunrise. Sunrise! Give me guidance in the last week of October for the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much. Okay, good fortune. Hammock. Eagle. Look, triumph over obstacles and troubles. Sword like an eagle straight out on this bitch. Hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally. Ooh. Ooh. And then beetle. Good fortune. Good fortune in what? Love, marriage. Give me additional guidance. Okay. The bag. Something important such as a new job or raise is about to hit you. Good luck. In the sense of a bag is coming from coming to you. What is it saying? The bridge. Successful overcoming a problem. The ladder. Climbing towards success. Alright. But the forest popped out. But there seems to be some muddle and unclear thinking. Give me guidance. Teardrops. A great personal sorrow. Give me guidance about this marriage. Give me information about this marriage and everything coming in October. Whoa. 
Okay, so this says the desk. You got to pay attention to your work, okay? So, I feel like, I feel like in the middle here, kind of looming in the, in the middle, center of the situation, there might be some muddle and unclear thinking where you can't see through the forest in regards to a great personal sorrow. And I feel like you're going to be paying attention to your work. You're going to be focusing on your work. And that makes sense because you're going to overcome something. The elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So I feel like it's been a long journey because we're now in May and October is a ways away. So I feel like you had to see the trees through the forest and had to go through like you had to go from trees through the forest and, and, and get through a great personal sorrow and focus on your work. And it was a long journey, either physical or mental, but it will leave you wiser at the end. I feel like everything that you've gone through from now up into October is going to be a long journey for you. But dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. It's going to be some financial gain coming from something that you did a while ago. It's going to come to you. All right. The door opportunities are waiting for you. You know. I feel like once you get over this, this, this sorrow, once you able to see the trees through the forest and get through this pain, chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Oh, okay. Someone is leaving your life. But you found spiritual love. And in the back, it says, take care. Enemies are working against you. Brother, I just want more information. Okay, so. I definitely see you wasn't able to see the trees through the forest because you were focusing on like some type of heartbreak or some type of like real personal hurt but you focused on your work and through it took you a long journey but you triumph you triumph and all of that hard work that you've been doing because I, I feel like someone drowned themselves out and worked to help them to get about a past hurt you know because the door opportunity are waiting for you it's just that someone left your life. You know what I'm saying? It's someone left your life, you know? And I think that there was great sorrow behind that. But through that, you ended up having a spiritual love. A spiritual love, you know? You were able to have a spiritual love. And they want to tell you to take care because there is enemies working against you. As you can see, that there's the enemy over there. Okay. Give me additional guidance around the marriage for October. Broken ring, parting of ways and other romance and business. Okay. Mountain, major challenges to overcome. Okay. Give me additional guidance about the marriage. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Okay, all right. So, hmm. okay, okay. Give me guidance about this enemy. Give me guidance about this enemy. Oh, that should almost hit the flame. Give me guidance about this enemy. Oh, it has something to do with compliments from him. Has something to do with an admirer. Affairs with your family. You need to defend yourself. Give me additional guidance about this. Having to defend ourselves. Thank you. Okay, so about this 
this enemy because it says the bat take care enemies are working against you and you know that there's forces working against you and this woman over here right where you were having to pull out your lion and your bull energy then the shield came out it said you need to defend yourself divine feminine to treat affairs with your family someone who you consider family okay bird perch is waiting for a news news package or a letter i feel like it's someone that's a perch bird that's just waiting for something that's waiting on compliments from an admirer pleasure with a close friend broken wish broken ring mountain broken bridge shield tree a perched bird admirer someone admiring your dog Y'all, honestly, y'all need to beware of somebody that you think is a woman that you can trust. You think that this is your dog. You think this is your dog, and Like, you in the clouds about this relationship with this girl. You need, it's time to act, especially if there's someone that has. Pay attention. Like, I always say, pay attention to how people treat other people. Because if this woman always be feeling quick to use that axe on another female and don't have no problem with fucking with a whole other woman's man and all of this shit like that, it don't matter if that's your friend. You just ain't had nothing that interesting to her at the time for you to see her pull out her hatchet to see if she would do it with you. I'm genuinely getting some type of energy that there's going to be a lot of success and triumph and luck and fortune and you guys financially and stuff like that but I'm feeling like in regards to a marriage situation I feel like y'all need to watch our back y'all need to watch our back because it's somebody that don't it's somebody that don't want you to have this commitment that don't want to see you get married you know what I'm saying Part in ways and either a romance or business. I asked about the marriage mountain, a major challenge to overcome, a broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So, in regards to this marriage situation, for some people, it might have to do with someone that you already have a broken problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, the bridge has already been broken. So, this might have something to do with that person. And or this marriage might be ending. Spirit is telling you to shield yourself. There's a bird perched in a tree. Affairs with your family. And they're waiting for a news package or a letter. I feel like they're waiting and having affairs with your family. And they're waiting for news package or a letter of this marriage being broken. Broken ring. Mountain to, you know, the climb. Bridge broken. You need to shield yourself because there's a bird ass bitch perched in a tree. Waiting for some type of news or something that there is like an ending. There's compliments from an admirer. From your dog. Pleasure with a close friend. This person that you measure with, that you're married to or that you're with, was fucking with your close friend. And I feel like this wish in regards to this marriage has been broken. Wow. I was getting excited thinking that somebody was getting married. Absolutely not.
Absolutely not. I'm hoping it just happened in the past, man. I'm really hoping it just happened in the past. But anyway, I guess that's been your tea. <laughs> that's been your tea leaf reading, boy. Wow, son. That just made my whole stomach drop. I'm really feeling like some of y'all are wondering what happened last October. I just, I really feel like someone just said, I just, that's, I feel like that's what happened last October. Give me, yeah, and then this bat popped out again. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Jesus Christ, what the fuck, Mo? Divine Feminine, give me, please give me guidance. Spirit, please give me a guidance. I'm sorry. Ant, Ant, work, achieve, success. Ant. Star, granted success. Star. So it might this might be a work situation. Work achievement success. Ant. Take care. Enemies are working to get you. Ant. Some of y'all messing with someone named Ant. Or is your name Star? But I feel like Older man, dealings or relationship with an older man, wreath, sorrow or losses, caterpillar, things will not always be this way, change is coming. So I feel like there might be someone that was in a marriage or a commitment with someone with an older man named Aunt, possibly. Or this is just like a worker aunt that some might be someone that you worked with. And spirit again is urging you to take care because like enemies are working against you. Aunt. Alright. Might be someone named Aunt. Might be someone that you work with. But I know that you working and you achieving success. You see what I'm saying? And you might need to take care of en enemies at work. Or someone named Aunt, this older man. That might be named Ant. And right now, you're like in your stock energy right now. You're being granted success, like regardless. But there's a dealing with an older man, possibly named Ant, or someone that you work with, where there's going to be a great sorrow or a loss over. Okay? But, Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So keep that in mind. All right. So I don't know if that helps any more like to kind of try to clear up this situation. But I definitely feel like there's a marriage. There's going to be like a completion. There's going to be an ending to a marriage commitment. Wow, I wasn't expecting that, Divine Feminine. Uh, I am so sorry to be the deliverer of that news. Wow. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't know. I don't, I see, I don't be getting into no involvement with nobody at work like that. So, how do y'all, have y'all ever, um, been in a like relate is there anybody in the chat have y'all ever been in a like a work relationship where like you were in a real 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 relationship like you know i can't even imagine could you imagine living with someone like you live with someone and then you go to work with them every day and then you live with that person too that would drive me fucking crazy but um but see, I've never been in a work relationship before, so I don't know what it feels like to be in a relationship with someone that you work with. Or I don't know. If I, it might be someone at work that you think is your friend, too. That's like, 
might be this person that's interfering in this marriage. Y'all just watch y'all back, yeah. For my ladies that are watching me and that are in uh, relationships that you are with someone, watch y'all back because that wasn't for, that was specifically for someone in a commitment, in a marriage. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be common law. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can, like, live with each other and y'all basically married. You know what I'm saying? So if it's like that, then you know that that was for you, but that wasn't a message for someone that's single. Give me guidance for... Oh, no, it's too much. Give me guidance for the Divine Feminine, please, for May 2000. Woo, honey. Mm-mm, hold on. Let me burn a little bit of sage because I need to clear the energy up a little bit because that was some deep shiggity. That was some deep shiggity, y'all. And I don't want to, you know, that that that's future energy. I don't want that to mess with what's going on right now in the name of Jesus. Look. I want that to mess with them now. Come on, Father. These can uh-uh. Hold on. Let's clean this. Even though I ain't even used the card yet, but yes. All right, thank y'all for giving me that moment. Thank you so much. All right. all right, now that we got that all done, and you guys for the Divine Feminine for May 2019. And you still want to drop a book out? Please, just one card, please. <laughs> if you if you were so determined to make me read a book, then I. I'm sorry. Like, I am sorry. I should have just took the card like you told me to. Make it God's. Release the idea of my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my, dear Lord. Make it God's. Make it God's. Release the idea of my. As soon as you start saying the money, the relationship, the job. Make it God's. All right, I like that. I like that. Father God, please give the divine feminine additional messages in her overall energy and what she needs to look forward to in the month of May. Let me blow this out. Thank you so much. What is this? The King of Pentacles in reverse. We ain't got no time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. That mess with my bronchitis. Alright. So what is this? The Six of Pentacles. Got people begging for a favor. Needing help. Two of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is a lot of pentacles. What is going on? I hope y'all not messing around with a whole bunch of bum ass niggas. Like, what the fuck? What's up with these backwards pentacle dudes? Why? Queen of Wands, okay. I can understand why they all want you, but... Why are you trying to juggle between two broke ass niggas? Who the fuck is this? Y'all should have seen the way I just looked at the camera. Are you crazy? Are you too crazy? Are you too crazy? What? So, divine. Where my fat man, Batman, Batman, fat man, Batman, can you look at them like they crazy real quick? Because I know good and goddamn well the Divine Feminine is not sitting over there trying to make a decision between two broke ass niggas to commit to and to, I know, I know she is not battling within herself between two broke ass niggas. 
I know she's not. <laughs> I know. It's okay, Batman. We gonna help her. Because I don't know who energy this is, but we finna help her today. Because I just want her to see how goddamn crazy she look right here with this energy on this tape. Girlfriend, why are you being the merchant giving the two broke-ass motherfuckers to two broke, dingy, crust-butt-ass niggas that ain't offering you shit? And they down on their knee begging you to get them something. Get them time. Get them attention. Get them some money. This a motherfucker that you, I mean, like, y'all go out and, like, you gonna have to, like, pay for everything. With this one over here, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to pay as much with him. But with this one, you gonna have to pay everything. Because this one too fucking grown to you the king of pentacles in reverse. Like, you too grown to be ain't shit. This one ain't that deep in his ain't shit, ain't shit, shit. Like, he, like, medium level ain't shit. This one, varsity level ain't shit, ain't shit, shit, shit. Like, come on, girl. I know you're not. I bet you won't. 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 Not today. Because if you didn't realize how you looking... See, this is the thing. I don't know why people don't think when they look at these readings that your tea not going to come out. Your tea going to come out, sis. Sis. Whoever this is. Sis. You is sitting up here. Listen to me. Listen to what they are telling me here, beloved. They are telling me that you are trying to balance yourself and give between two broke ass niggas. You a sugar mama? What is this right here that I'm seeing? Ladies in the comments, if, 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 if this is not you, if this is not you, I need you to put hands in the air and say, this is not me, young. Say, this is not me, young. In a hand wave in the comments. Say, this not me. Not me. Not me. I see them down there. Are they coming out? They flooding down there. Not me. Not me. Not me. Because we don't give to... What? You got two broke ass bums begging for you and you trying to. Have we learned nothing? <laughs> Have we learned nothing? This has to be new energies. That's why all my ladies. Hey, everybody in my comment section. What's up? What's up? What's up? Everybody I'm not me's. What's up, baby? Because y'all my long riders. You understand? Because in the divine feminine daily bread, those are my heads. Those are my OGs. So we do jump into a lot of new collective energy with these monthlies. Baby, whoever this is, honey, you need to clean that up. <laughs> you need to clean. Because you giving a lot of money and a lot of time out. You was looking like a whole simp out here. You looking like a straight sugar mama out here in these streets, girl. And you beautiful. You beautiful. You who beautiful, but honey, you got some shit that you need to end and you need to end quick. Then maybe that you don't realize that is you need to stop that, okay? And I, for some reason, I feel like you don't know how to not attract broke bum ass niggas. Like, I don't know, do you like taking care of broke, broken ass bum ass niggas? These are leeches, you like. There are some women that just like taking care of bum ass, broke ass niggas. They like they they like to be needed. They like to be taken advantage of. Is this you? This can't be. This can't be. My ladies, my normal ladies, y'all just sticking here for entertainment because I ain't never seen a creature like this in my life. I have never seen no shit like this. We so ladies, we gonna stick in here for entertainment because this girl. <laughs> Between two broke niggas to get married to. Between two broke niggas. <laughs> Father who are in heaven. No. No, young. No. <laughs> this cannot be the new chapter in life that you was thinking about. It cannot. Girl. 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 <laughs> Where's my cleansing water? Hold on. <laughs> In the name of G.
us. Hold on, because I need to spray myself down. Come on. Come on, Father. Come on. Thank you. That frankincense and myrrh and just all that. Come on. Thank you. Just cleanse, Father. Cleanse this energy in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Father, get him some intuitional guidance. Make it God. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Who in thine hell? Ladies, are y'all still sticking in here with me for this entertainment? Because this is about to be entertaining. In thine name. What in the hell? I cannot wait to get to the daily bread. Oh, my God. Girl, friends. I really hope that you guys have a good lesson or a good reflection of how you're looking right now. And then that you boss up and you can... Follow me and the OGs over to the Divine Feminine Daily Bread. Okay? Monday through Friday. Because, honey. Patience. Yeah, because you don't got no patience. You don't have no patience. So, you just picked up two bum broke niggas. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> I'm going to say nay on the open sky. Okay? Nay on the open sky. What? 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 What is this? Because you got emotional. If you don't pick up the pieces. 45, 47. So no, let me stop. No, listen to me. But Linda. 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 We all go through emotional losses. You don't go pick up two broke niggas. Because you ain't got no pay. Girl, you could have just waited. You could have waited. Oh, in the name of the Father. What? <laughs> you still trying to overcome heartache and loss? So you just, you just, you just. Look at you, look at you, look at you. In the name of the Father. In the name. What? What? Because you ain't had no harmony. I, listen to me. Now, Linda. You you, won't, you don't want to hear the truth. Don't tell me you don't want to hear no truth. I'm about to do the uh, Tyler Tarot. Don't tell me this ain't the truth. Okay? Don't make me do a Tyler Tarot. Shout out to Tyler Tarot. I fucking love Tyler Tarot. Tyler Tarot say, don't tell me this ain't the truth. Don't tell me to just say what's going on. It's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Linda! Have you lost your ever fucking loving mind? Yeah, girl. If you don't ask God, if you don't ask Jesus to take the will, Jesus! Take if thine will if. Take thy will if. You got to see how I'm looking at you. Look at you. Look at you and look at you right now. What? No, I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing no messages from the twin flame because that ain't helping you, young, because you're tripping right now. You tripping. You don't even need to hear no messages about what nobody got to say because you're tripping right now. Oh, God, I swear on Oh, God. You, and you know what I'm going to do instead of that? I'm about to go to the rebel deck. Okay? That's what you about to get. You about to get the damn rebel deck. Because you're not about to get no messages from Twin Flame. So you can be sitting over there. Oh, my Twin Flame. My Twin Flame loves me. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Y'all not about to do that bull ass shit with me. Because y'all not about to be saying, oh, I went over there to Reds. And Reds said my ex coming back. And you've been stuck in a pit of nothing and stupidness. Because you said, no, no. No, because you're going to get some harsh truth because right now you just, okay, you got on the X, but you went and collected two bombs. You should have just sat there and had patience in the process, <laughs> the emotional loss and, and the loss of heartache that you were dealing with. Do you think it's a harmonious experience for anyone going through shit like this? Hell no. That's the truth that you don't want to hear? You got facial truth. You just attracted more stupidness. Who in the hell is this? That's okay. I'm going to help you right now. Okay. What, what are you saying, Father? 
Drink a smoothie. Unfriend that asshole. Throw some shit out. Okay? She could be much, so much worse. Thank you, Father. Please tell this fool. And I'm sorry, because you know. No, absolutely not. Because what you would not do is come over here with the bullshit. You would not come over here with the bullshit and, and be over here looking for me to tell you that your ex coming back when you don't need that motherfucker to come back. And then you attract the motherfuckers just like his dumb ass. People probably worse than him. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, throw some shit out. Detox. You need to throw... Shit can be so much worse. Be fucking grateful. Shit to be could be so much worse. If you do not focus and deal with these losses and heal and get through your shit. Cause this right here ain't it ain't cute, yeah. And y'all already know I'm not I'm not the one that's gonna play with you. And if y'all clicked off of y'all off this video, I, I'm good with it. If y'all un, un unsubscribe, I'm good with it. Cause I'm trying to tell y'all. I am not that reader, man. If y'all on here with some energy and y'all looking crazy, I'ma tell you, you're looking crazy, baby. Because I'd rather we be in this place of privacy right here where we can talk and get shit straightened out and we can deal with it. Before you make a mistake that is going to, I'm not going to allow that. And no, and I do feel like you need to hear whatever this person got to say. This person at this, um... Divine Feminine is dealing with. Tell me what um, broke nigga number one. Where, where's his energy at with her? Broke nigga number one. King of Pentacles in reverse. Broke number. <laughs> broke nigga number one. What do you got to say? I can't take this no more. To <laughs> broke nigga number one, and that's it. Broke nigga number two. So that was the king of pentacles. Let's see what the knight of pentacles in reverse. Got to say, what is the knight of pentacles? Broke nigga. nigga. <laughs> what is broke nigga? Number two got to say. Knight of pentacles in reverse. What does he got to say? I can still feel you. Alright. What else do we got to say? I thought about you lately. But that was in the reverse. So what does that mean? I didn't think about you. I don't know. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down that it's not always easy to deal with. So I feel like it's something about you, Divine Feminine, that reminds this one that is more your age of some shit that is not. You know, like, they, they still feel a connection with you. But I feel like... It, it's some growing up to do to this one. I wish I could take things back that I said. Clearly, this person said something because you're dealing with two different people. I mean, whatever. But whatever. Give me guidance. So, the older one said, I can't take it no more. Because it's probably because you're dealing with the younger one. But both of them ain't offering you shit. Both of them is sitting there begging. You be having to get them money and take care of them and shit like that. You need to cut your losses with both of them. Why don't you even try to balance and juggle two different broke ass people ain't offering you shit. What you gonna get married to a motherfucker that you gonna have to pay for your you gonna have to pay for your own wedding ring? You that press? <laughs> Think about what we saying here. You that press to be with two different niggas that you're going to have to buy your own wedding ring and you're going to have to pay for everything for the rest of y'all relationship. Come on now. The hummingbird in reverse. Ain't even no sweetness in this shit. Ain't nothing sweet about this shit. Except for a sweet ass Vic move. Somebody be putting themselves out there like a straight Vic. Crucify. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you trying to tell me? I'm not being sweet and I'm trying to crucify you. I'm sorry. I'm not. You nailing the you 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 hammering and nailing your own coffin right here. You crucifying yourself, baby. I'm only telling you what's right here. So, like, <laughs> ain't I ain't trying to crucify you. 
you trying to hammer the nail in the coffin for real getting involved with this dumb ass shit. You should be way smarter than this. The door. It's time for you to transition. <laughs> it's time for you to transition. All right, so right now, <laughs> ain't nothing sweet about this situation, okay? There ain't nothing sweet about this situation. You're about to make a mistake. So I'm sorry if I am not being sweet right now. I'm being a true friend to you, and I'm telling you the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if people don't like my delivery, I cannot change who I am. Okay? I cannot change who I am. And if you feel like I am crucifying you right now and I'm being too harsh, I do not feel no type of way. You guys can click off of the video and unsubscribe. Because my OGs, they already know how I am. And they know I'm going to give it to them straight, no chaser. And I'm not trying to crucify nobody. But you are going to crucify yourself. You're like hanging yourself to the cross yourself. You were putting the nail in the coffin. You know what I'm saying? And you need to open this door to transition. I feel like you were just constantly... What is this? A web. Cosmic plan. You were completely going against the cosmic plan with this shit. You need to walk through this door of transition and stop like going against the cosmic plan. You need to free yourself from both of these situations. Both of them. Both of these idiots are wearing a fucking mask. There's something hidden with both of them. I don't know how you don't see that both of these niggas is broke as fuck and that you are taking care of both of them and then that they're not offering you nothing. Come on now. I'm just here to protect you. This is harsh truth. This is protection. You don't have time to be out here fucking around right now. You know what I'm saying? You seeking, you seeking into a deep, dark hole of mystery. I feel like there's like... You like chasing danger or something. Like whoever this is. But you need to like. <sighs> you need to find some peace and, and joy and serenity and tranquility in your life. Like I feel like you like chasing a deep rabbit hole or something like that. You like chasing mis mystery and danger and shit like that. You completely going against the cosmic plan and shit like that. Instead of. Focusing yourself around more blue elements. You know what I'm saying? You are going into dark elements. You know? And that's just like... You got to protect yourself. You got to think about the decisions that you're making and the people that you're getting yourself mixed up in. Yeah. You don't see these people for who they are. You ain't even finished your healing um, process. How the hell are you going to see people for who they are to make a clear, decisive decision? Yeah. Yeah. You need to blow this candle out. Because if you don't do that shit now, you're going to get yourself mixed up into some bullshit for an eternity. And I'm warning you now. Because I ain't even about to fucking play with you right now. Because right now I'm getting irritated. So ladies, to all my ladies, my OGs is still sticking in here. I hope that y'all are getting some entertainment in this. And just seeing the road that we could have went down. If we just putting ourselves out there easily, just bored, being impatient, not 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 willing to let our heal uh, uh, heal our wounds, and because we don't want to deal with you know feeling lost and, and and all of this stuff like that, and there's no harmony and joy in our life because we have to go through a moment of seclusion to heal our wounds. You just putting yourself out there when your heart ain't even ready for it. And, and bring even more problems into yourself. And then you masking that. That shit's being masked by, you know, it's being masked. Because you think it's people that spend spending time with you. They're spending time with you because they want your money. Because they're begging you for shit. Because you're giving them shit. How you don't see that? Both of them. you just the paymaster. That's what you attract when you put yourself out there and you wound it. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all, give yourself time to heal, man. 
Sometimes y'all people just be wanting to jump out there and you're gonna get yourself in there mixed up with some situations. All right, man, whatever. I can't listen. I can't live your life for you. I want y'all to eventually be healed and be comfortable so y'all don't need to come and look at these readings no more. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to get to the point where y'all don't need these readings no more. You know what I'm saying? Y'all in a healthy, happy, committed relationship. You know what I'm saying? You know self-love. You know how to trust your guidance. You know how to trust your, you know what I'm saying? Everything. There's faith in your relationship. There's God in your relationship together. You know what I'm saying? You guys are a harmonious unit. You don't need to look at this shit no more. Seven of Pentacles. You need to do self reevaluation right now. Give me additional guidance for the Divine Feminine. Your will of fortune has stopped. I told y'all self destructive behavior. Reevaluate. Will of fortune has stopped. What is this? The Hierophant. You need more spiritual advice, man. You need you need to like ground yourself spiritually. What is this? Hold on. Oh, the nine of swords. I need to self stop self sabotaging. I feel like some of y'all need to just like kind of go back to church and um tap back into some. I feel like there's some of y'all that was like raised in the church and shit like that. And I feel like y'all haven't been to church in a while. I feel like if you, because I go to church, I watch church. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I love God. Try him sometimes. That's who your relationship needs to be with, with him. He would never stab you in the back. He would never betray you. He would never bring you misfortune. He would never take you away from your growth. He wouldn't allow you to do this. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? That's why people like me are here that do this type of work. You know what I'm saying? That have that very close relationship with him where I can sit here and tell you. Now I don't now if you don't, um, you know, whoever you you um, look too spiritually. Whoever you look too spiritually. Because right now, you're walking a tight rope. You're walking a thin rope right now. A very thin rope. What is this? The King of Swords. Yeah. You're dealing with like cold, egotistical, lying, thieving, cheating, manipulating ass people. And, and, and it's like you're caught up in a fucking illusion. You are like caught up in make-believe. And a lot of you guys are addicted to tarot and need to chill out on some of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of the readers that y'all be listening to be feeding y'all bullshit. And y'all get all... Y'all get, get caught up in this make-believe. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... Y'all get caught up in this make-believe with this twin flame bullshit and all that stuff like that. And this type of person right now is like, because they haven't been patient and gone through their healing. Like every nigga that they meet, they give into thinking that, there's, it, that one of them is their twin flame. And you're still wounded. You're attracting nothing but fuck niggas, nothing but leeches. Leeches. Same shit, different toilet. You got to understand that. Like, that's why I'm trying to, like, dirty. Like, they broke. They don't. Look at them. Look at them. Beggars. I don't care how big their dick is. That's all they can give you is dick. You having to pay for it. If this energy don't resonate with you, good. Good. Because that's, that's not... 
that is not a burden that I'm willing to carry. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to like protect yourself and guard yourself from stuff like that. You can't sit there and you can't continue to go through the same shit, different toilet, just because you you scared of being in this high priestess energy, just being secluded and being alone and withdrawing yourself from the world so you can focus on yourself. You need to release yourself from that bondage and that prison of feeling like you gotta have somebody. Like you gotta have somebody. You're willing to just sell your soul. Get, get him all your money. Give everything. Instead of instead of uh, planting that seed and being patient and working on yourself. Working on yourself. That is planting the seed and waiting to see what results come out of it. Not only because you are si you're self-fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? But you know eventually it's going to bring you good luck. That's karma. You put good karma energy out. You get good. You, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you wounded and you're going out in the street and you just... Listen, you better free yourself and go and get some spiritual advice from someone that truly means you well. Because right now, you are completely going against the design that God and Spirit has for you where they want you to go. Like, you're completely going against it. And you're making shit harder for yourself. And you're just bringing yourself more and more misfortune. And then you sit there and you cry. And you be like, well, God, why can't I find this? And why is it? What's going on in the shadows with Divine Feminine? With this group of Divine Feminine? Because I already know. I know there's some of my girls that they still hanging in here because I think that they feel like this is intriguing watching this and they're thanking God that they're not putting themselves out there and they are being patient. Because what if you got pregnant by one of these things? What if, what if one of them niggas would have gave you an STD and you sitting up there with this with this moon card, you, you, you drowning yourself in illusion. You're about to turn your fears into a whole fucking nightmare. Because a lot of y'all be sitting up here listening to these stupid ass goddamn readings like, like it's Bible. Do you hear what I'm saying? And y'all thinking every person and like, like every person that you meet. Every person meet, this is, a, we're going to be married and this is going to be forever. This is going to be my new chapter. This is my twin flame. This is my, this is my. <laughs> That's why I just says, make it God's. Release the idea of my. As soon as you start saying the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arise. When there's no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. I was just sitting up there saying, this is my, this is my, this is my. And I'm being urged to say something back about the, um, that group of people, whoever that, that thing was with the tea reading. I'm being urged to talk about that because I feel like even that person in that situation... I feel like they got themselves knee deep in a relationship with someone that was a beggar, that was that was just like this as well, and they got themselves wrapped up in a, in a like a deep commitment or marriage, like deep commitment. I mean, like y'all live with each other, like y'all break bread, y'all break y'all pay bills with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all might as well be married if y'all not married, type of shit like that. Y'all can have kids or y'all cannot have kids, but y'all just live with each. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like y'all could have possibly got yourself mixed up in a situation too, where it was another fucking beggar. You gotta not be a person that wants to be needed. That's not a healthy or attractive thing. No, 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 no. Like you, you want to be wanted by any means necessary. It don't even matter if a dude coming around begging and literally using you for everything you got. Just as long as you got somebody 
on their knees in, in some type of aspect. Nah, that's not cool. It don't even matter if you got... So what, you think you a player because you got two of them? Both of them are fuck you, you. Stop trying to fill a void with people. You better fill that void with Jesus. You better fill that void with God. You're never going to get over this, this, this instability right now. You understand what I'm saying? This instagnancy. You understand what I'm saying? There's a level of stagnancy, oh, stagnancy in, your, uh, in your life that you can't get over because I feel like you are... I feel like you asking for the wrong things. And God wants you to be quiet and look and pay attention to what he's trying to teach you. You 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 asking for the wrong things and I feel like you was begging for this. Like you like like this is what you was begging for. You just wanted a man. You know what I'm saying? And just like literally just would give your heart to anybody just because you just trying to get over the shit with your past and everything and and you got what you were asking for. Trying to fill a void. You should have been filling the void with spirit with self love and it's like right now you're having to see your own reflection in this murky ass water you know you were asking for the wrong things what is this disillusioned yeah you were disillusioned you know what I'm saying disillusioned Give me additional guy. Oh, oh gosh, that's too much. That is way too much. Disillusion. What is this? You dealing with a whole bunch of people that are really not available for you. I told you that they weren't available for you. And then you be having a problem walking away from them. <laughs> yeah. This is misguided. And it's like you're not even misguided. You know better. Like you know better. You know better. You should you know better than not take action with these type of dudes. Like you know that. You better work harder to get over whatever type of insecurity that you're dealing with. Do you see what I'm saying? You need to overcome that shit. And you need to don't sit there and give into lust. Wait. Wait, why are you tainting your body with people that shouldn't even be touching you? Lust can get you in a lot of trouble. Right now, I feel like you're being haunted by your actions. I'm doing one more spread, and then we up out of here. And I'm going to see my ladies, my OGs, and then daily bread. Because I want y'all to really sit here and sit and marinate on this energy here. Shit, Divine Masculine has wonderful read and shit. I don't know what the fuck y'all going through. All right. Yeah, the Ace of Wands, yeah. You are completely blocking your new beginnings. It came to a screeching goddamn halt. Because you're not making very good decisions. The uh, four chalices, yeah. Right now, you are being made aware of that. Right now, you are being made aware that there would be no new beginnings starting for you. You're going to fix this mess up that you created. You need to do some deep self-reflection. And you need to go and you need to dip yourself in that, spirit, in that spiritual pool again and get yourself. Re Look, I just was saying that temperance and reverse, you're not balanced. You're not spiritually fulfilled enough to take this journey. So... I know there's a group of us, me and my ladies, we are, we're taking our journey. Ain't, we ain't stopping. Like, we good. This is a new group. There's a new group of, I've realized that, and I've realized that. And I don't mean to be hard on y'all. I really don't, but I really don't have time for this shit. I really don't. Because me and my girls, we've been through so much shit, like, and, and, and that's the thing. <laughs> and maybe I gotta soften up a little bit or whatever but I listen I am who I am ever you love me or leave me I couldn't give a shit I don't I don't do this shit 
I don't do this shit for entertainment. I do this shit because I love y'all and I'm really trying to help y'all. And I be having to talk to myself like this on everything because I ain't had nobody to teach me this shit. I had to be strong on my own. So I understand that there's a new group of people that might just be getting into these readings and stuff and we might be picking up on their energy. Listen, baby, you got to look at how you looking out here. Look at how you looking out here. Misfortune. <laughs> Disillusion. Doing shit out of insecurity. And then getting lost in disillusion. No, we're not doing that. Listen, I love y'all. If y'all need, if y'all need personal guidance, y'all know how to hit me up. Now, listen, I'm gonna let y'all know. Y'all already see how I am. So don't come and book with me and be on that bullshit. And then when I'm telling you, now listen, I can only tell you what the energy that I'm getting on the cards and what the cards are saying. If you're not going to be receptive to what I'm trying to tell you, and it's based off of the energy that I'm getting. And then another thing, I do not like when people... <sighs> Only thing I can say is if you book a reading, just be prepared to get the message because you can't hide nothing from spirit. Nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So if, if, if you come... And you call me and you book a reading and you're like, oh, we broke up because he was cheating and this, this and that. But you were cheating too. And you were do. It's going to come out. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come out. So you can't be like, well, no, it really happened because this. And, and, and if you had a part to play in it, then I'm going to have to tell you to take responsibility. And you can't get mad at me for what comes out. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... You can't hide anything and spirit is going to make you take responsibility for your actions and spirit is going to tell me what to say. You know what I'm saying? And emotionally, I'm going to feel the way that I need to get the message across to you. And just like I said, if, if y'all see how I am right now, if you can't handle that like if you have to keep clicking on clicking off depending on what i'm saying because the message might be too harsh i might not be the re the reader for you for a personal reading but if there's you know and everybody's energy is different but like i said y'all know what bullshit y'all be doing <laughs> y'all know what y'all be doing and y'all know y'all know what y'all be doing you know what i'm saying so and there's another thing like if if, if you be Putting yourself down a lot and everything, which is a pet peeve of mine. I hate. That is something that I hate. That's going to come out too. So, I want y'all to love yourself, Especially this new group of women. Because y'all can't be in this self-loathing situation. Now, and I'm serious. I'm going to talk to y'all. And I don't care if y'all like what I got to say or not. I'm going to keep it real. Y'all can't be in this self-loathing situation. Whereas though... You dealing with a fuck nigga that was treating you like shit and you feel like you can't do no better. And you just rather roll around in the mud with pigs instead of being a human. You don't, you don't give Pearl the swine. You understand what I'm saying? So if you consider yourself swine, then go and roll around with the pigs. But I'm a, I'm a queen. I'm a human being. Like, I don't... I know a lot of people don't even eat swine. You see what I'm saying? So, you got to be careful with who you engage it with and who you in this fantasy land in your mind because of this bullshit that you listening to on YouTube and this bullshit that all these motherfuckers kick it to you just to sell some motherfucking readings and shit. And y'all be careful of that shit. Y'all be careful of who y'all listening to. Please be careful of what y'all read and who y'all listening to. A lot of these people be pumping this bullshit out. It'd be, a, it, it be like a... It's brainwashing. You know what I'm saying? I honestly feel like it. It's brainwashing. And that's why when I come on here, I talk to y'all the way that I talk to y'all. If I, if I see that your, your ex is coming back, but he coming back with bullshit, I'm going to ask you why the fuck would you want him? Unplug from the matrix. Do not subscribe to this brainwashing. 
I need y'all to pick yourself up. Allow healing. You can't go from one person to the next, to the next, to the next. And another thing, y'all can't be mirroring these fuck niggas. Oh, y'all cheating. I'm going to cheat on you too. So I'm going to have two or three different people. Why? You, what you going to whore yourself out just because this nigga's a whore? You going to treat your body, your temple like that? Then when your real divine masculine come, is he really going to want you if you've been fucked up, slutted out? Trying to mirror the energy of a fuck nigga. Y'all got to be careful. I need y'all to unplug from this matrix. This twin flame brainwashing bullshit. Do not run around and chase nobody. If the person don't want you and if they don't respect you and if they don't appreciate you when you with them, they ain't nothing. There ain't no such thing as, listen, I'm not saying that there's no such thing as a twin flame. I do feel on a connective energy level that there is someone that is your divine counterpart. But the whole hoopla between, between chasing around the runner and chasing is bullshit. Unsubscribe to that. Do not mirror the energy of toxic people. It is blocking your blessings. It is blocking your new beginnings. That's why you see the will of fortune. Everything has stopped. That's for that group. I promise you. When I do my divine feminine daily bread. My OGs. We right back at it. I know it. So it's different waves of groups of energies and stuff like that. I need y'all to hop on her wave. I need you to quickly dust yourself off and get it together. You are what you eat. You want to roll around in the mud with swine? You go on track, nothing but that. So you can't complain. Why all my other friends, they get married, they man, take them to, you know, spa dates and they be doing this. They go bowling, they be traveling and shit. They just went to Paris and shit. They going to Australia. Why my man came? I can't even get my man to take me to the movies. Look at what you, you want to roll in the mud with pigs just to get attention from anything. What's that old song talking about? Something about, it, it, it was something like it's, it's better to, to have a man did not have a man at all or something. That's stupid. I'd rather be by my fucking self. I could take myself to Paris. <laughs> if you don't love me, if you don't respect me, if you gonna block my blessings. And I ain't no paymaster. I ain't giving no nigga shit. I ain't paying for no dick. And if y'all bitches is out there, cause that's what y'all doing. Please know that that's what y'all doing. I ain't about to church y'all up no more. I'm gone. Me and Batman, Fat Man, we out. We looking at y'all hoes like this. Listen, if y'all out here on that paymaster shit, y'all tricking off on grown ass men, y'all not allowing yourself to heal, I'm looking at you how I'm looking at you. Okay? Batman, Fat Man say, I come and I rescue people that got common sense, that really is ready for this healing. Okay? You send out the bad signal when you're ready. Until then, we out. Peace.